all right in this video what we'll do is to add the comment add comment box here so what we'll do is to copy one of the comment box or one of the forms we've created and um, add it there so we'll go there and uh, in create companies for instance we have a very nice form that we can copy so i'll just click here to minimize oh uh, let me just make it so you can see so i'll i'll copy from form to form so um i'll stop here form copy it then i uh, will go to um a projects under projects and uh, projects show the blade so where we had add project we had a button called add project and uh, here's the button remember this is commented out because we might need a look next later on but um, for now so what we can do is to paste it here so i'm going to give enough space so we can paste a, a button i'll give um first of all i'll do a br to make sure that uh the button is a little out of this then uh add comment box i've just pasted a link a post a form sorry so to um to take a post request and um it's gonna be uh going to pro going to comment store all right and um because it's going to create a new comment then we will be needing for comments we'll be needing several fields one of the fields is the the body of the comment which we have here then all other fields will be hidden for instance um the field here we don't need a label in case you're lost uh with what i'm doing just go to the models and comments these are the fields we need we need body we need url and then we need um commentable id and commentable type then user id all right so um we'll get back to our code and we'll show the blade so i'll control z and uh, make this a url i'll just say url because basically we want people to add proof uh, i can just say proof of work then url proof of work done all right um and then the person will enter enter url and then um what we have is um okay i think this should be uh, a, a big form instead of just um I think this should be a text area because the person should be able to enter URL or text area. So we can just say proof of work done. If you understand what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make sure that if somebody updates that they have done something in the project, they should put um, they should put pictures or screenshots or they should put the URL. All right. So what we have here, enter description enter url or screenshots all right so um what else do we need uh, the rows are too many we just have like i'm just gonna call it like three rows so once this is done then the name should be url then the next one is body if they want to explain what they have done so the name here should be body um comment so this is the comment and i think this one should be right underneath underneath yeah okay so they add a comment and then they put proof all right enter description enter comments and then um, comment content comment content same here okay so uh now this has been sorted out and there's a submit so it goes to comment the store but then we need to pass in the id for it so um, we need to pass in a hidden field so to do that we go to edit take this hidden field and um 
get back to where we were. So the first hidden field is um, commentable. So the commentable model is the model we're working on, which is basically a project. Then we do the same thing for the commentable ID, the project ID. So I'll do this to add the project ID, project ID. So I have this sorted out now. So I just call this commentable ID. All right. So what else are we missing um, so far? Everything looks all right. So I just want this to be on its own row. So I will just uh, do a div class. The class is equal to row div and um, I'll just put this here then pull off the rest of this okay so this looks cool so let's check out what it is like here so we're expecting to see a form here that looks cool asking us to add comments and then uh, oops okay we've not actually added this that means we have to make sure that it is actually listed so according to that error our comment store doesn't exist so what we can do is to add it so we we'll go to your routes in web app so make sure that there is comment and for mine i didn't enter any comments so i'll just have to duplicate this line and call it comments comments goes to comments controller comments controller all right so make sure you have your comments route and then we we'll refresh reload and now we have uh we have it and um i think uh we should have to reduce this we have to reduce it so we'll go to show the blade instead of three lines i want it to be two so generally, uh, remember that you can use any uh, pattern. So this is row of five. I want to reduce it to three, row of three. I want to reduce it to row of three. And then instead of this, I just want to reduce it to row of two. All right, so um, those are magic rows. And there we are. So the person can add, actually add a comment or they can add a, a URL or screenshots of what they've done. Then they, they can click submit. All right. So quickly, the first thing you notice is that the this comments box is actually touching the edge of this, and this is touching the edge of this. So what we can do is to add container fluid. Once we add this to the the div, you know this form is inside a div. Once we add it and we refresh, we'll get what we're looking for. I'm refreshing right now, and it's refreshing. So as you can see, uh, it is sorted. And um, what we'll do in the next video is to put actually put these things in tabs. So we have comments here. Then we have um, users or members. Then we have um, tasks. All right. Okay. So see you in the next video.